the biggest problem that Obama faces is not Republicans, it's the doctors. Most Americans don't understand just how tightly linked health care policy and health care politics really are. But I don't know that there is any area where they are more connected than health care. And I think that most normal people look to their doctors for advice and for their reaction to the big health care debates that take place in Washington. And the doctors are opposed, very strongly opposed to one of the central tenants of Obama's plan. So I, I think which, his biggest which, which, which tenant is that? This is the public option. This is where their idea and their talking point and their spin is that they'll create competition. But there's plenty of competition. And the docs argue that you would crowd out private insurers who really cover 70% of Americans. So, you know, the Democrats have got the talking points down and they got the spin on their side. But I think the opponents of what he's proposed have the doctors in this country on their side. The AMA is a critical element if he's going to get this passed. He's going to need those doctors, Paul. In fact, uh, in fact, historians will tell you that uh, when the AMA opposed uh, other progressive presidents as they tried to reform health care, uh, they hired a very famous actor to make, uh, back then, an LP. I'll have to explain to my children what an LP is. Made a record. Uh, and that actor was Ronald Reagan. Uh, but this is not your grandfather's AMA. Uh, I think the president was uh, politely received there. There were some problems. But I talked today, the, 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 the Obama administration did something very smart, something we did not do. They're organizing around the AMA. In the campaign, there was doctors for Obama, just like there was, you know, left-handed Scrabble players for Obama. The <laughs> doctors for Obama, though, have morphed into now what they're calling themselves doctors for America. And there's, there's thousands and thousands of doctors in this. I talked to one of the leaders of that group today, and he pointed out to me, the American Medical Association does not survey its members. They don't really know what those doctors think. These Doctors for America are surveying docs, and docs are fed up with having to mud wrestle insurance companies just in right. order to care for patients. And I think. I think